Hello again, everyone. It's Vince Four from TradingWinds.com, and this is our update for August 1st, 2018. Let's take a quick look at today's markets. Well, Apple was the real story today, lifting the NASDAQ market. But before we get to that, let's look at the major indices here. The Dow today down 81 points, while the S&P 500 was lower by almost 3 points. The NASDAQ, again, with help from Apple, closing about 35 and a half points higher, while the Russell gave up one and a half points. Uh, let's look at that Apple chart. As you know, they released earnings last night. Very good uh, report. And here we go. Nice, strong gap higher. Not only that, we close right near the highs here. Hitting a high of 201.76. That is an all-time high. And, of course, there's no resistance up ahead. Look for a move beyond the highs here. Pretty quick for a, uh, a momentum play there. Um, and this, you know, if you look at the weekly chart, it looks really good. Nice strong trend, light, nice momentum behind that move. And there's the monthly, same thing. So that was a, a, a nice strong move for Apple. Couple more uh, earnings aftermarket close today, um, starting with Tesla. And Tesla announced a, a bigger than expected loss. Uh, but did beat on revenue and actually they were doing quite well after hours they were up four percent or thirteen dollars a share it looks like they'll gap higher tomorrow square also announcing aftermarket close they actually beat on both earnings and revenue but were trading lower go figure down two percent after market close the bond market today also closing sharply lower that took the yield on the 10-year note Back up to 2.998. We are pretty much back to that 3% level. Crude closing sharply lower as well due to an increase, unexpected increase that is in U.S. Uh, crude stockpiles. And gold finished sharply lower as well, down a little over 8 points. This after the Federal Reserve decided to keep rates unchanged. But they did mention that the economy was very strong and may have to uh uh, continue uh, raising rates. We fully expect a rate hike next month uh, at their September meeting. Okay, that's about it for now. Enjoy the rest of your day and we will see you on our next update.